Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Shahzad Saitullah and I am a head and neck and anterior skull based surgeon. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we take complex ideas and break them down into simplified forms for all the doctors to understand. So if that is of interest to you, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications from the page. So without further delay, let's get into today's video. Today we are going to be assessing the oral cavity of the patient. So as I have said in my previous videos, in order to begin any examination, first there are five basic steps that you need to be doing. Introduction, consent, exposure, position and light source. So let us begin. Assalamu alaikum. Ki mera naam Dr. Shahzad Siddullah hai. Main ENT ka mahir doctor hoon aur aaj main aapke muh ka mahina karunga. Dorane mahina aapko kisi kisim ki takteef nahi hoogi. Agar aapko koi bhi takteef ho to aapne mujhe batana hai. Aapki ijazat hai. So this is introduction and consent. Now exposure. Anything not relevant to the patient you have to take off. Aap zara apni NK ontar ke site pe rakhte hai. If the patient is having artificial dentures you need to be taking them out too. Then comes your position. You should be one arm length away from the patient, either on the right side or either on the left side of the patient. So for examination of oral cavity, I'm going to be on the left side. We need to have a light source. So putting the light source on and turning it on and focusing on the place that we want to examine. So again, uh, it begins with inspection of the lips and oral commissure. You're going to assess the lips how the lips are, if, are, if you are seeing any growth, any ulcer, you have to comment on it. The next step is you have to look at the mouth opening. And you need to look at the distance between upper and lower incisors. We are basically checking for Christmas to see whether the patient is having any restriction in the opening of the mouth. After checking for Christmas, now we need to have a look at the teeth and at the gums. So for that, we need two metallic spatulas. What we will do is gently introduce them. Mukhole up, mukhole, mukhole. Gently lift the upper lip up, having a look. In the same way, you will come down and having a look at the gums, the teeth, the buccal mucosa, all the things you need to notice. We can also do this step with a single spatula but you need to stabilize the head for, for teaching purposes so that you can see I'll be taking my hand off and you can do this even with a single spatula just looking circumferentially inside the oral cavity after assessing the gums and teeth the next step is assessing the tongue movements after, after checking for tongue movements, now we are going to have a look at the floor of the mouth. And then you gently tilt the head down in order to have a clear view as to what's happening on the floor of mouth. After assessing for the floor of mouth, the next step is you will have a look at the heart palate. And you can directly see the heart palate as if there is as to see if there is any growth, any ulcer. You can also assess the sensations of the heart palate. Stabilize the head, gently touch the heart palate to see the sensations. After assessing the heart palate, now we are going to assess the soft palate movements. Gently depress the tongue, say ah. And after checking for the soft palate, soft palate movements, now we need to check the gag reflex. Again, we need to do it with a, with cotton wrapped around a Jobson horn probe. Gently depress the tongue. Gently depress the tongue. First check one side to see how the gag is and then the other side to see if the gag is intact. After checking the ninth and 10th nerve, now we need to assess the taste. So in order to assess the taste, we need to have a salt and a sweet preparation preformed. So this is, a, this is a sweet preparation that I have already prepared. How you do it is you ask the patient to close eyes. 
और आपको जो टेस्ट आपको महसूस हो आपने मुझे बताना है ठीक है आप जुबान बाहर निकालें आंखें बंद करें यू विल टेक इट एंड देन यू नीड टू पुट इन जस्ट अ ड्रॉप ऑन टॉप ऑफ द टंग फर्स्ट ऑन द राइट लेफ्ट साइड लेट्स इट मुंह बंद करें कैसा आपको महसूस हो रहा है ठीक एंड देन आंखें बंद करें मुंह खोलें देन यू नीड टू पुट इट ऑन द राइट साइड to see how the taste is and then you ask them to compare ke dono ek jaise hain ya koi kam zyada hai wo band kar le aap theek hai after checking for the taste of the patient now we will doing the examination of neck so for that you need to stand behind the patient again you start off with level 1a proceed to level 1b upper part upper part of sternum start level 2 middle part of sternum start level 3 lower part of sternum start level 4 posterior to sternum mastoid is level 5 and in the midline is level 6 you can also do this with individual hands level 1a 1b sometimes you can ask the patient to tilt the head so that this place is not tense and you can easily palpate the lymph nodes level 2 3 4 5 and 6 the same way with the le- left side 1a 1b 2 3 4 5 and 6 you can after after checking the neck lymph nodes you can also check the accessory nerve ab dono kaande upar kare theek chhod de this concludes the examination for the undergrad students now for the postgrad students there are certain things that they need to notice if they are noticing that there is a lump in the parotid or if there is a lump in the submandibular or even a lump in the parapharyngeal space they have to do by manual palpation so how do we do the by manual palpation first we put on a glove now let's say this patient has a submandibular swelling swelling so we ask them to open the mouth ab zara muh khole zuban upar kare if you put in your index finger and you try palpating it between both of your fingers the submandibular gland you can also do this for the parotid you you take your finger deeper and try palpating it by manually so one of the things that the postgrad students need to add in their examination is the by manual palpation if they are noticing a lump in the parotid or in the parapharyngeal space or in the submandibular gland another thing that the postgrad students may come upon during their examination is finding a growth or an ulcer inside the oral cavity So whenever you see a growth or an ulcer inside the oral cavity there are certain steps that you need to be doing. The first thing that we need to notice is to look at the location of the ulcer. Mouth khole, zuban bahar nikale. Now let's say this patient has an ulcer or a growth on the right lateral border of the tongue. So you will be roughly stating the location that you can see an ulcer on the right lateral border. You have to tell the size of it. For that I use a graded scale. that that uh that i have for myself mukhali you will measure it in two dimensions the the length of it and the width of it after looking at the location and the size of it you will comment on the shape of it as to how it is appearing mukhali so ban bai nikale you will comment on the surface of it to see whether it is ulcerative or fungating then you have to look for tenderness for that you have to put a uh, glove back on mukhonea and you will gently palpate it by looking at the facial expressions to see whether he is grimacing and at the same time you will be checking the induration to see whether the surrounding areas are hard or they are not involved so these are the steps that you need to be adding in order to check for an ulcer you start off with the location you comment on the size the shape the surface the edges the tenderness and the induration this concludes the examination of the oral cavity in the end you will thank your patient ki aapka bahut shukriya aapka maina complete ho gaya hai aap apni glasses dobara pehen le bahut shukriya thank you everyone for watching if there are any more complex topics that you would want us to cover please let us know in the comment section thank you so much